Yo, what is up you guys? Dominator here and I'm back with a Minecraft tutorial. This is my first Minecraft tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to build this guardian statue. The video that I made this on is currently my most viewed video and someone requested me that I make a tutorial on how to build it. So I'm going to get into a void world and I will start the tutorial there. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, we're here in the void world. This is actually uh, going to be my void creative tutorial world. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so we are going to make the guardian statue now. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start off with um, a prismarine brick. Prismarine bricks. So what we're gonna wanna do is make a 12 by 12 square. So we gotta go we got one here, we're gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then just connect these two together. Like so. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and fill this in. Okay, once you have the 12 by 12 square completely filled in with prismarine bricks, you're gonna want to uh, stack these up by one all the way around, but don't fill it in. So just like this, you're gonna wanna place these all the way around the edge, like so, just like that. And now we're going to add the walls to it, so we're going to want to stack out two like this. Actually, I'm gonna keep that there. Do it on each side like that on each corner. So just do two out on each side. So one, two, one, two. Wow, I totally butchered that. One, two, one, two. And it's gonna want it's gonna look like this. And next thing you're gonna want to do is Fill these two in all the way around like this. When you get here, just go to this side and do this. Okay, so after having all these filled in, I personally like to knock out these corners right here just because it lets me know exactly what is an edge because you you're not really gonna have anything in here. I mean, you might put something in here, but just like it makes it look easy so like when you know like oh that's the edge it's gonna be the outside so there's no getting confused if you're like mining away or anything but that's just me so the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna build every edge around here up to 12 so just like this on each corner just all around like that build it all the way up to 12 so we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 And you're gonna wanna fill all these in all the way up here. This is kind of the part where you kinda need a lot of prismarine for this. So hold on tight. Okay guys, after you're done with that step, it should look something like this. So now we're gonna put the top on and it's basically the same thing. You're gonna wanna fill all this in to the sides like that. Oop. Wow, I suck at placing blocks right now. Just like this. And then you're gonna wanna go two up all the way around the inside edge like this. So here's one, just like so. And here's two. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna fill this top layer in all the way around to seal it off. Just like this. So at this point, it's gonna look like this, and this is the basic body of him. So you can wanna pick any side you want to be the front. I'm just gonna pick this side. You're gonna wanna find the middle 
which you should be able to kind of eyeball it. Like, it's pretty obvious what the middle four blocks are, and it's these ones right here. But if you want to count, you know, it's 12 by 12, so you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6, and then you go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6, and where these two intersect, which is right here, that is where the eye, I forgot to turn it on peaceful mode, so we are going to do that really quick. And there's zombies and spiders in there. So they should be gone. Yep, they're gone. And you're going to want to fill this in with red stained clay. And this is the center eye of the guardian. Okay, so the next step is you're going to want to fill the eye in. And what I like to do is I like to go make the, uh, the ball of the eye one back. So we're going to knock all of this out around just like so. Just like this. We're gonna wanna go inside, oops, and I broke that. <laughs> We're gonna wanna go inside and fill the back behind it all the way in. You don't have to fill it in back there where the pupil is. And then we're gonna wanna knock out each of these corners like so and fill these in with regular gray clay. Cause that's like pretty much the grayest block that looks pretty decent. <laughs> so, after this, we're gonna wanna put the patterns on his body. Um, they have like their scars and stuff. So first we're gonna do the eyebrow and the eyebrow just starts off one in and goes all the way across the top of the eye like this. And then you're just gonna wanna fill it in with dark prismarine, just like that. So he's got his little eye. It looks a lot like Plankton from SpongeBob right now. But it won't once you get the spikes in and stuff. So the next pattern on the Guardian is the front design. We're going to do the face first. So we're going to want to go to the middle eye onto the right side of the eye. We're going to go up to the eyebrow, up one more, one more, and then break it right there. So there's a space between, there's one space of pr uh, prismarine bricks between the eyebrow and the scar and you're going to want to bring this up all the way and fill that in with dark prismarine so it's just a line on the right side of the pupil just one block between and then there's three so the next step is we're going to want to go right here to the left corner right to this block of prismarine bricks we're going to go one over and one down knock that out then we're going to go one down and one over to the left and knock two more out just like that and put that in. And now we're going to want to go all the way to this corner. We're going to go to this prismarine brick. We're going to go one down, knock this out, knock the one out under there. And we're going to want to knock this one out from the corner. So there is the front face of scars and eyebrow on this guy. So the next step we're gonna do is the side scars and the side scars are both the same on each side but obviously they are reversed. So for the left side or technically the right side if you're facing this way, technically the right side we are going to want to start off three blocks so we're gonna go one, two, three on the left and then we're going to go one more over and break this block go one down one over like this one down like this then we're going to go down make this corner right here then go across and hit this corner then continue a diagonal way down like this you're going to want to go two diagonal down from this one two diagonal and then one back this one is a little difficult, so feel free to repeat this in the video, play it over and over until you get it right, because this one's kind of hard to explain. Now we're going to want to go right here from this block. We're going to go up one, and we're going to go over one, two, three right here. Knock this out. So there's three blocks between of prismarine bricks. And then we're going to want to go to the diagonal and break these two blocks and fill these in. So there's that. 
And finally, we are going to want to go from here. There's going to be three blocks between, so we go one, two, three, four. Break that block, and we have the three blocks between. Then we're going to want to go to the left down, break out these two, then go left down again, break out this one. Then we're going to go back and break out this one right here, and then we're going to want to break the one directly beneath that. Fill these in. Again, if you are confused, feel free to go back or just look at the picture right here, freeze the video, and whatever you want to do until you get this right. You can also do it any way you want, but this is how the actual guardian is. Okay guys, so on the left side of the guardian, it is his left and our right for facing him. Left if it is um, his left, obviously. And uh, we're going to do the exact same design as the right side, but it is going to be reversed. So we're going to want to go three blocks in like this to the fourth block. So I have three blocks right there. Go one, uh, break that block, go one down, one over, one down again. Then we're going to want to go to this diagonal, go one across to this one, then diagonal, then diagonal, then back diagonal, just like this, and fill it all in with dark prismarine. Now we're going to want to go back to here. We're going to have these three blocks in between, break this one out, and then break these two above it to the left. And we're going to want to go three blocks, blocks per, bah, I can't speak right now. We're going to want to go three blocks between these two scars. So these three blocks right here, break the fourth one out. Then we're going to want to go to the right, down, then right down, then left, down, and the one directly beneath, just like that. So it is completely mirrored on the other side. Okay, guys, so this, for this next step, we're going to want to go in between the two. We're not actually going to do the top just yet. We are going to go in between right here, and we are going to want to break these two. I believe it's these two. Let me check really quick. Yes, we're going to want to break these two blocks right above this one. We're going to leave this one here, and we're going to fill those two in with dark prismarine. And we're going to want to go to the other side, like so. And there's actually nothing on this side. Ah, that is embarrassing. Okay, whatever. So that side just has this one, and the other side has nothing. Okay, so similar to what we did on the left side, which is our right right now doing that, we're going to want to go to the front and we are going to want to go right up at a diagonal from this block, break this guy out, put him here, and then fill these two right above him. And I just got a lag spike, don't know why. But there that is. And... The, it should look pretty much like that so far, so we are going to move on to the back now. Okay, guys, so from the bottom, we're going to want to break this guy. This is the front. I am actually facing it so that the eye is always going to be facing this way. It's always going to be facing up, wherever way, whether it's the top or the bottom when I look. So we're going to go over to the front right next to this guy, and we're going to break this one right at the diagonal of him. And we are also going to go to this guy. We're going to go down two, actually three, and then one to the right, break these two, and get that in just like that. And that is all for the bottom of these walls. So now we're going to go back to the back of the guardian and we are going to want to this one's a little tricky because he's got a tail in between so we're going to start off right in the middle this is where his spike's going to go we're going to want to go so these two blocks in the middle we're going to go to the right block we're going to go over two three right here break this guy out don't place him there then we're going to want to trail it down like this and down one more. So this guy, these guys are all filled in here. I want to go to the left down once and twice just like that. And then we're going to want to have a space right here and then break these two out. Do a little stagger thing right here, then go up just like this. And I know this sounds really confusing, 
So just go back, you can just look at this or you can go back and watch it over again. So now underneath the tail, we are going to want to start right in the middle again, which is about right here. We're gonna wanna go to the right blocks, which is right here, break this guy out, put him in right there. We're gonna wanna go one, two, up, two, over, break these two, fill them in, then we're gonna wanna go very far over. It's actually to the very edge exactly lined up with this one we're going to want to break these two then do a diagonal break two more and break one right there so again it is really confusing but that is how it looks and i believe all we have to do is the top now top and bottom is all we have to do now for the scars on them so starting at the bottom again we have to make uh, this thing so we're gonna want to go up to here and we're gonna want to go down one so pretty much lined up with this down one and one over so t my mistake we're actually just gonna go right so just look at this one right here go below it and hit right here fill that in we're gonna want to do a little it's almost a full circle of twos around like this there is one right there and then two right there so it's a circle but without that one so we're gonna fill all of these in and then from here we're gonna want to go one over then two down and break him out then go to the diagonals this guy is a line of two and this guy is a horizontal line of two. Fill all those in, just like that. There is also, right beneath these, we go two blocks down and break that guy out, and he's there. And then we're gonna wanna go from this one, we're gonna wanna go over to the left once, then, oh, wrong way, then up once, and then over to the left one more time and bring him down right here. Whoops, that's actually a mistake, hold on. We're actually, an easier way to explain this and to do it right, because I am a fool, you are going to want to go to that, the diagonal of this one. Don't break that out, I'm just showing you. Break that guy out. So we're gonna have one diagonal in between, then break these two like that. And here's the final of the bottom, just like that. Pause it, look at that, and have a good time. Now we're going to finish it up with the top part, and this part's pretty straightforward, starting to what we did on the side right here. We're just going to want to go from here, we're just going to want to break this one right above it, then go to the right diagonal, break these three, then break this one over, and it makes kind of a W shape right here. Then we're going to break this one, oh, not that one, that was just my mouse screwing up. Fill all of these in. This is the most cracked right here. So there's like a W thing right there. Then we're gonna wanna go to this corner of the W. We're gonna wanna go to the diagonal. So there's one block between those. We're gonna wanna go two, then up, down, down, down like that. Fill all these in. Just like so. Oh, and I keep getting lag spikes. And now we're gonna wanna go up at the diagonal right here. Then we're gonna go, wanna do what we did before at the bottom, go one diagonal between, then go to the next one, break these two guys and fill them in. And that is the entirety of the top. These are all the scars. So please, if you are really confused, let me know in the comments, or you can just go back in this video over and over again until you seem to get it right and pause the video when I show off each side. So next step we are going to do is the tail, which is probably the hardest step in this whole tutorial. So let's get to that. Okay guys, moving on to the back. Um, like I said before, this is the hardest part in this tutorial. So buckle up and let's get ready to do this. So normally, a, well, let me just tell you all, start off with saying that this is a four by four block right here. And that's how you start it. And it lines up with these two scars, or yeah, those two scars, and it kind of lines up with that one. 
So that's how you know where it is. And let me show you that on screen right now, I'm gonna put the actual, what a guardian's tail looks like. And if you notice, it gets smaller by like one block each section it goes out and it but it's in the center so if we were to actually make it in this uh one block smaller on each side technically it's two blocks in this but uh if you want to make it like smaller on each side by one it would have to be up like this you can't do it in the middle with prismarine blocks you can do it with like slabs and some and stuff but there aren't any prismarine slabs yet so yeah, that's why we have to make this really weird. And it's also not completely centered. So you have to put it at an angle as well. And this is just the only way I figured out how to do it. I mean, maybe someone might be able to make this work well. But yeah, it's kind of weird. But I think it looks cool when it's done because I actually made it pretty decent. So from this, from this 4x4 four four square, you're going to want to go out by 3. So there's 1, 2, and 3. And then you're going to want to fill all these in like so. Just like that. And then it's still a 4x4 four four square, but you're, wanna go, you're going to want to go up and over to the side. doesn't matter what side. You can choose a side. You can do this side if you want. If you want his tail to go to his right or his left. Either way, you can do it whatever you want. I'm actually going to do it to the right this time, just so it's a little different from last time. So we want to go... One, two, three, whoops, did that totally wrong. It needs to be only, only be one out. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, just like that. And then you're gonna extend this side by three. So one, we'll extend it by two, but it's a three block long section. So just like that. So it's gonna be up and at an angle very slightly. Next, we're gonna wanna do another one that's up and to the right just a little bit just like this so let's go all the way around same four by four but this is the last one because a guardian's tail only goes by that many pixels so that's how many blocks i'm doing <laughs> so now we're going to go on to the smaller portion which is a three by three so it actually does go to, uh smaller by one block and it goes a half on each side so i got that wrong when i said that before but, um, so it's a three by three now. And yeah, like I said, the only way you can get a three by three, like you can't, cause you can only put a two by two in the center of this. So you have to make it over and to the side in order for it to look actually pretty good. Cause there's no way you can put it in the middle. There's no way you can put it in the middle this way. So yeah. So we're going to have to do three by three and it is going to be one, two, three. I actually did that wrong again, my bad. Oh no, I'm doing this right. Wow, I am I'm actually looking at a picture and I'm doing I'm doing it the opposite way because I wanted to make it different. I am doing this correctly. So it is three by three, just like this. So it should line up on this side, but not on the other side. And then you're gonna extend this out by one. Just do that. And now we're gonna go up and over again, do another three by three. So just up and over and then extend this by two again, or by one, make it two blocks long, and you should have something like this. So now we're going to go up one, and this is kind of the same as the last section where it is only one block this time out, not two, like it was last time, so uh, how it goes three, three, one, and then it gets smaller, then it's two, two, one, and it gets smaller again. So now the next size is going to be a two by two square, and we are going to put it right here, just like this. And from this point on, we are going to not extend this out, but we're gonna keep going up and over by one, and this is gonna be three pixels or blocks, so there's one, two, and three of these small ones. And now we are just about ready to start the tail. Actually, there is in fact one more of these, just like this. So there's actually four of these. So just a quick little reminder, we got a four by four of three. Then we go up and over four by four, three. 
then up and over, four by four, one, and then we switch to the three by three and we do two, up and over, three by three, do two, up and over, three by three, do one, up and over, or actually you stay there, do two by two over, then two by two, up and over, two by two, up and over, and two by two, up and over. So just so you guys can see what it looks like from all sides, this is what his tail looks like without the back fin. And it, in my opinion, it looks really weird with just without the tail. Like it looks so much better with the back fin on the tail. Like it looks so weird like this. But don't worry, it'll look good in the end. So let me show you how to do the fin. Okay guys, so for this fin part, this is actually the worst part. I lied about the tail. I meant the fin, but I, I meant like the whole tail in general. But this is the part that really gets to you while you're building this thing. So you're gonna wanna come over to the side that it's curving to, and you're gonna wanna start off on this these two blocks. You're gonna wanna put one brick down here and three bricks up here. So one, two, three, just like that. It looks a little weird, but that's how it is. So you're gonna take this last one and convert it into this like stack here, three blocks on top, one on the bottom, just like this. And in order to get the, the diagonal tail at the curve, I had to do a double like angled thing. So it, it's, this is what's really hard. So instead, like I'll put it on screen, the fin is straight all the time. But on this guy, he's gonna be curved at an angle to go up with the curve of his tail and at a different angle to go with the side of his tail, the curve to the side. So every time now you have to make a, a block sideways, you have to make it at an angle like this. So it's gotta be at an angle. So it's like, like this diagonal. So diagonal building is really hard, but with this, it should be not that difficult. So moving on from this one, you're going to want to build a few prismarine blocks over. You're gonna to wanna to go five blocks over from here at an angle. So one, two, three, four, five, like this, and then knock out the ones that support them so you can put those on. So it's just like this, five blocks over. Then I'm gonna build this like a layered thing. I'm not gonna do the border of it and then fill it in because it's a lot easier to just do it by layers. So from the side, right on top of this block, you're gonna wanna put prismarine, prismarine, prismarine. Then you're gonna wanna switch to bricks, bricks, and then go out two more for the bricks. So one, two, and then break these. So just like that. Next, we're going to want to put prismarine bricks here, and then we're gonna wanna go across to prismarine, and I accidentally placed more. We're gonna wanna go across to prismarine, so prismarine, 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 all the way, and then we're gonna extend one out, and it's gonna be prismarine just like that. For the next layer, we're gonna want to do another brick, and then we're gonna wanna do yet another brick right here, and then the rest is extended to prismarine, and then at the very end of this, you're going to want to put a jungle wood plank. So put the jungle wood right here at the very end. So it should look something like this right now. It is kind of hard to see with the prismarine at this specific color right now. So if you wait for it to change, which I'm doing, it should look a little different. Okay, so it's getting darker now. You can kind of see the pattern of the bricks and the prismarine. Yes, it's very dark right now. You can clearly see the difference between the two blocks at this point. So this is what it should look like now. For the next layer, we're going to want to do bricks, bricks, and then we're gonna to wanna to go prismarine, 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 prismarine. Then we're gonna to wanna to do jungle wood planks, then prismarine, then prismarine, and now acacia wood planks. So it's like the orange planks now. So it should look something like this. And I know this is a really weird tutorial, but it's my first tutorial and it'll work out eventually for everyone. So for the next layer, we are going to want to do bricks and then prismarine and then prismarine and then prismarine. And then we're gonna to wanna to do jungle wood planks, then two more prismarine and then acacia wood planks. 
and then two more jungle wood planks, and then some orange stained clay at the very end, just like that. So you can tell that the orange stained clay and the acacia wood are two different shades of orange. They're very similar, but you can tell a difference. So that's why I have clay and acacia wood and not just acacia wood or just clay. Next layer we're doing is we're going to do bricks and then three prismarine, just like this. And actually it's four prismarine, my bad, four prismarine. Then we're gonna do acacia, then jungle, jungle, then clay, I had to think of the word right there. And then two more acacia, and then clay at the very end again. So if you can kind of see the pattern that is going on right here, that's it. This is actually the halfway point of the fish. And when I made this the first time, I made them all the same order, just keep going like this. And I, it looked so weird. Then I realized what you have to do is when you get to the halfway point, instead of building off to the side, you have to build it kind of up like the design, not the blocks. I mean, the blocks you put placed the same way, but you have to build the design up. So it looks like it looks like a fish fin as opposed to just a flag that the fish has on his tail. Okay. So for this, <laughs> for this next layer, we're going to want to put bricks, prismarine, prismarine, then jungle, then prismarine, and then more jungle then clay, orange stained clay, and then acacia, and then another acacia, and then one more orange stained clay. Okay, so for the next layer, we are done with the prismarine bricks. So we're just gonna start off with prismarine, prismarine, prismarine. Then we're gonna wanna go to acacia wood, and then we're gonna wanna go to jungle, and then acacia, then orange stained clay, just like that. So now for the next layer, this is when it starts to get easier because it's getting smaller. We are going to want to go one in, put down just jungle, then prismarine, then jungle again, then acacia, actually, nope, not acacia. It is orange stained clay, then acacia, just like that. For the next layer, we are going to want to do jungle, but we're gonna, or not jungle, acacia. I'm getting my woods mixed up. Then jungle, then acacia once again. And that is it for that layer. Next layer, we are gonna go one in, just do jungle, or I keep getting the words mixed up. Orange stained clay, we're gonna put orange stained clay here. Man, then we're going to do acacia. And then for the very last layer, we're going to put an orange stained clay right up there. So this is what the tail looks like. It is a diagonal tail. If you kind of tilt your head, you can tell what it's supposed to be. I don't know if it's 100% accurate to the guardian tail, but what are you going to do when it's at a weird angle like this? So that is the tail. That is the hardest part. If you completed it, good job. You can just pause the video and look at the design here. And I actually, oh, this is embarrassing. I actually totally forgot to put an orange stained clay here. So if you notice that pretty much all the ends of these, it's like orange stained clay on the sand, this end, and then this is the middle, and then orange stained clay on this end and this end. So. Sorry about that. Look at the new design. This is what it looks like. So you can copy that if the tutorial was really confusing because it probably was because it's my first tutorial. Okay, so moving on to the easiest and final step of this project is the spikes. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to place orange stained clay in here just a square like this. And you notice it goes out at an angle. So you're going to want to build it up like this, so put two on the side, two on top, and two right in the middle, and it extends like this. You can, if you want, extend it as far or as short as you want, but my sweet spot for doing this is I count the middle sections, so how there's like two on the outside, there's one in the middle, so it's like two, middle, 
two, and then middle. So I like to count seven middles. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like this. Let me just delete these so you know. So there's seven middles. I think the actual number of like pixels it goes out is eight, but I thought eight looked a little too long and I thought seven just looked perfect. So you're gonna wanna go seven of these out. So let me just build these the way that is the easiest. So you just go out like this. Da, 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 da. So we got one, two, three, four now. And then this will be five. This will be six. And this will be seven. So there's one of his spikes. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put every sing one of these things in every single one of these corn or sides. So like every one of those divots right in the middle down up here. So there's four on the top, there's four on the sides, and there are four on the bottom, equaling eight spikes. Actually, that is totally wrong. Don't know how I got eight, but it's 12 spikes. Don't know why I suck at math all of a sudden. But <laughs> I said eight, and I was like, as soon as I said it, I was like, wow, that was wrong. Okay, so, and wow, I am just not doing great right now. Everything, this, this probably looks like the worst tutorial ever but we're gonna go with it because i don't know many tutorials of guardian statues and it was requested so we're trying our best so i'm gonna do a side one just so you know what it's kind of like it's basically the same thing except in my opinion easier in survival because you can just walk across it and be like oh yeah just like this it's really easy so we got one two three centers four five, six, and seven. And that is that spike. And yep, just keep going around, filling them in just like so. The Obviously the ones on the bottom go down and you just do this. So there's three, four, five, six, seven. So just like that. And yeah, just fill them in just like that. Okay, guys, there you have it. There's the completed project. Personally, I do really like the tail. I think it adds the Guardian a lot more character that it's curved. And yeah, that is it. Um, Nice little Guardian we got here. A little thing that I think might be cool to do for some of you guys. I might do this later is either take uh, probably red sandstone or acacia wood. Either one, depending on what you have on your survival world. And you can make uh, this into stairs just by starting it here and going do 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 do. Just like so. And make it like make a little piston door in here and make him an inside just like in here. Make this part of your base, that'd be pretty cool. Or better yet, you could probably figure out. Yeah, piston door would be pretty cool. I was thinking maybe something in the eye, but yeah, Piston Door would be cool as well. You could also even replace the clay with the stairs as well. So just mine these out just like this. I'll fix that later. And just put the stairs on like this. You can even make these out of red sandstone. In fact, that looks really good as well. But I think clay is a lot easier to get because you can just bake it if you don't have a mesa biome. And you can just mine it out really quickly with a mesa biome. So you can also do that just to give them a little more character. And yeah, that's it for my very first tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Comment, let me know how it was and like what you like about the Guardian. Uh, feel free to leave a like on this video and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching Like I said, make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff Be sure to join the domination and I will see you in the next video